Hello and welcome to Cole's Place. My name's Colin and uh, welcome as always and thanks for tuning in to another fantastic video. Okay guys, listen, the first thing I've got to do is my customary pan round to show you exactly where I am. Check this out. Okay, I am here on Westcliff in uh, my hometown of sunny Bournemouth. It's about 11am, a little bit hazy, but I'm looking out over to Pool Bay there and the Purbex, just about making out. It's a little bit hazy at the moment. Beautiful day. And then we'll pan round over to Bournemouth and beyond. Absolutely stunning. The temperature according to my finger and a thing on the phone is an amazing get this it's just gone 11 o'clock it's an amazing 29 degrees meant to be one of the hottest days of the year and it's september unbelievable but today we're not hanging around here we're going out for the day we're going over in that direction and i'll tell you why and you guys are coming with me it's a big one absolutely beautiful isn't it what a day to be alive here in sunny bournemouth okay so uh, oh and they say it's going to be 32 degrees later one of the hottest days if not the hottest day of the year and it's september like i say unbelievable anyway let's crack on first of all if you're new to the channel i want you to do me a massive massive favor and that is subscribe okay join the growing band okay get those numbers up so uh yep it's free so subscribe and whether you're new to the channel or not what i want you to do is hit the thumbs up all the thumbs pushes a video out there and uh, helps youtube get me noticed so that helps as well and uh, there's also a little bell you can hit which if you hit that that'll tell you when i'm putting up new videos i've got loads of videos coming along on the channel so uh, yeah as i say join in the fun right couple of quick questions before we go okay first of all do you guys those who've been watching the previous vlogs remember this close up <laughs> it's my little jigsaw piece uh, for those who don't know i'll put a link to the video down below i did a vlog in a beautiful place called el medano on the sunny island of Tenerife about two or three months ago on my last trip over there. Okay, if you don't know, if you're new to the channel, I do vlogs here in Bournemouth, Tenerife and wherever else, but Tenerife is where, where the heart is, okay? So I did this vlog, take a quick look at it. Yeah. The only thing is in the center, like when you break, you can break a very big stone of lava. And it's in the center. Yes, yes. That's beautiful. I bought me gimbal, but I'm not even using it. I'm breaking all the conventions of vlogging. <laughs> Hang on. with people. Why did that remind me of Scotland? There we go. So, uh, yeah, little things make you happy. Do those little things. And I bought this little thing home to make me happy. And today I'm going to do part two. We're going to put the jigsaw piece in its rightful place. So let's go on that day out. OK, we're going over to, well, you'll see when I get there. Keep watching.
Studland, which is a little sort of uh, nature reserve over the other side onto the Isle of Purbeck from uh, Sandbanks in Poole. Absolutely beautiful today. It is warm, very warm. You'll notice if you've watched part one of the video, I'm more organized. Everything in my bag today, my GoPro, my spare phone, my gimbal, my YouTube hat, bottles of water, brought the lot. <laughs> anyway, keep watching. Uh, I'm gonna show you somewhere really nice. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. You'll even notice a change of t-shirt. <laughs> That's how organized I am. If you're gonna come over this way, right? Don't drive and try and drink orange juice at the same time over a cattle grid. Doesn't do you any favors if you've got a white t-shirt on. Anyway, let's go this way. <laughs> Morning, Bob. Morning, Colin. How are you, mate? Yeah, magic. Have a wonderful day. Lovely weather for it. Oh, catch you, catch you later. Okay, so just a little update as to where we are. Um, we're at the Shell Bay end now of uh, Studland Bay. So behind me. Uh, I'll show you in a minute, is the uh, little sort of ferry slipway which takes you over to Sandbanks in Pool, and uh, I'll just pan round. Okay, so ahead of me there is the uh, ferry toll booth where my mate Bob works, uh, who we just said hello to. You've got the car park, there's a little sort of snack bar behind there, public toilets, clock tower, <laughs> uh, the marine yard there. Just in the background you can see the Brown Sea Island in Pool Harbour, and the cars there, I'll just zoom in. They're queuing to go on a Sandbanks ferry. So we're not going that way, we're going that way onto the beach. Let's go. doing my David Attenborough bit just standing here in this little area if you're very quiet you can hear it teeming with wildlife Just about one orange juice soaked t-shirt later but we're here that's the main thing right okay so if you remember in part one of the video okay I said when I first pulled up to El Medino in the car uh, this reminds me of Studland Bay back home uh, in Dorset so I've waited what best part of two three months uh, I had to wait for the good weather because I didn't like filming it in the rain in the UK summer uh, I had to wait until I had the time and the opportunity to get over here to show you why this reminds me of El Medino. Right, I'm gonna do one of my famous pan rounds. This is breathtaking. Check this out. <laughs>
all as people. Why did that remind me of stuff? Told you it was nice down here. Excuse the dodgy camera work. I'm walking on the sand. I've come up for away from the water for a bit because it's quiz time. Question for you. I am now following in the footsteps of a very, very famous singer who filmed the video for one of their biggest hits. I'm going back. I can't Google this because I've got no uh, internet signal here. So I'm going back. I reckon it's about the year 2000. The video was filmed in May, I believe, 2000, and the weather was awful. There's a big clue. Big British band, top 10 hit. The video was filmed right here where I'm walking. And he was doing exactly what I'm doing now. Just walking along the beach in the video. I want the artist and the title of the song. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> another clue as I said the weather was awful the day they filmed it uh, they wanted sunshine but because the weather was awful I believe they filmed it in black and white or well, at least I think it was black and white or is it all yellow got 10 more seconds <laughs> answer go back to 2000 a UK top 10 hit I think it got about number three or four in a UK chart but a worldwide hit it was Coldplay and Yellow filmed on this very beach loads of stuff's been filmed down here and while I'm on that subject behind me that's where Del Rodney and Uncle Albert sat and they were pretending to be in Spain anyway <laughs> Let's crack on. Walked a fair way now. Uh, lunchtime soon. Bournemouth in the distance. Absolutely beautiful. The temperature is roasting. It's got to be 30. Got a guy's paddle boarding. Those who watched my vlog the other day earlier this week, if you haven't, check it out. What's happening in Bournemouth? That ship there is a cargo holding ship that's come from Birkenhead near Liverpool. Now, El Medino in Tenerife, at the very end of the beach, you've got Montagna Rocca by the airport. Ladies and gentlemen, here in Stuglin Bay, I'll give you our equivalent. We've got Harry's Rocks. <laughs> We're going this way. I couldn't film very much behind me because uh, people who are local to the area, if you know, you know, you know, you know. Let's put it this way, it's a part of the beach where people like to uh, hang out. So I couldn't film down there. But 
I've got something else to show you up here. Okay everybody, last thing I'm going to show you in this video down here in Studland, it's this structure behind me. Quite imposing, isn't it? It's called Fort Henry. It was built in the early 1940s during World War II by the Canadian Royal Engineers. And it was built basically as a strategic positioned lookout post protecting the south coast of the UK from the Nazi invasion. Uh, and it's stood here ever since. It's a grade two listed building and it's maintained and owned on their uh, National Trust land. Okay, and just down there on the beach, there's a old World War II pillbox as well. That's fallen down to the beach due to cliff erosion. Anyway, the reason I'm showing you this and in relation to this video. Okay, so uh, when I was back in El Medano in the restaurant, I was uh, having something to eat. Uh, there was an Irish couple who I got chatting to sat behind me. Uh, the chap's name was Brendan and he just hit 79 I think it's 78, 79 years old, and uh, they were from the west coast of Ireland, and we got chatting away. Anyway, long story short, he was telling me, when I told him I was from Bournemouth, uh, he was telling me his brother sadly passed uh, during World War II, just off the coast uh, of uh, this area, and he said he was very sketchy about the details. His dad told him brief details. It was in 1944, and it was when some tanks uh, came off a ship uh, during a training exercise uh, in practicing for the D-Day landings and he said six soldiers died but his brother and his brother's sort of work colleagues were actually building Pool Harbour they were reinforcing Pool Harbour uh, obviously due to the war uh, and he said they came down that day to watch the, the exercise the tanks sunk uh, due to the tidal patterns or the weather and his brother was one of four or five people who tried to rescue the soldiers in the tanks and uh, his brother sadly passed he was and that's all they knew his brother his brother was never repatriated back to ireland and it was all sort of kept a bit hush hush um and he said it was in a castle he said it was by a castle off the dorset coast and that's all he knew he said he'd never looked into it his brother was about 17 18 years older than him so I said to him, when I get back to the UK, I'm going to do a little bit of research and try and find out where this happened. So Brendan, if you're watching, I didn't keep your details, didn't take a selfie or nothing because it was like a fleeting chat. Um, but if you're watching, you did say your daughter was going to subscribe to the channel. You took a note to the channel. So here I am. I've had to pick the day where it's nice and sunny. I could get easy access. And this is it. This is Henry's, well, it's Fort Henry and it's named after the area where the Canadian engineers came from. 
and uh, as I say, grade two, and it's been here ever since. And interestingly enough, uh, I did a little bit of research a few weeks after. Um, they had all the sort of big leaders of the day uh, actually standing here watching the training exercises. Winston Churchill stood here, uh, Mount Batten stood here. Um, th th there's, there's quite a few. If you Google it, you'll see the full story. Anyway, and what I'm going to do for you, Brendan, I'm going to pan round to the beach where those things happened and uh, I'll show you inside as well. So, this one's for you. Harry's Rocks. Okay Brendan, I hope that little uh, jigsaw piece made you happy. I enjoyed coming down here to film it. Thanks for watching if you're watching. Okay, right so now guys my turn to head on back to Bournemouth over in that direction and uh, I've got to do a little jigsaw of my own. Let's go and uh, find this little baby at home.
you're still with me, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bit of a journey home. Traffic was a bit mad, always is. Uh, but yeah, I've even had to change t-shirts again. Absolutely sweltering here in sunny Bournemouth. 32 degrees, easy out there. Uh, but yeah, what a great day. I love filming down Studland, love being down there. Cracking beach. Isn't it like El Medino, or am I just imagining it? It's got that lovely sea air smell that I described in part one as well. And I uh, really enjoyed filming down Fort Henry as well. Brendan, if you're watching, I hope that, uh, as I said, fitted uh, a little jigsaw piece for you as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely stunning down there, beautiful. Anyway, listen, without further ado, it's time to crack on and uh, fix my own little jigsaw piece now. But listen, before I go, thanks so much for watching. Big welcome to all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, it's free. Hit the thumbs up as well, whatever, and there's a little bell for notifications of when I put new videos. Got loads more videos coming your way. But now it's time for me to show you my jigsaw, which is, well, it's, it's an ongoing piece of work. And uh, the piece I've shown you from El Medino is one more, and uh, I hope you, hope you enjoy it. So uh, comments down below, tell me what you think of Studland. Is it like El Medino? Tell me, does going a long way for little things make you happy sometimes? I think it does. It's not always the big things in life, not always the big gestures. Sometimes it's the little things. And this makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So thanks again. Take a look and I'll see you in the next video.